Welcome back to SolidWorks and NCS Tutor YouTube channel. Before starting the video, don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon button. In this SolidWorks simulation connector series, we are going to learn about the bearing connectors. So as in the previous tutorials, we have learned about the spring connector, pin connector and board connector. I will provide the link of all the tutorials in the description. You can watch the videos from there. So in this tutorial, we are going to learn about the bearing connectors. So bearing connector simulates the interaction between a shaft and a housing through a bearing. You have to model the geometries for the shaft and the housing. So for bearing connector, you don't have to uh, make the solid model of the bearing. You just make the shaft in the housing and then you will apply the bearing connector to the two faces. So this is our assembly and problem. We are going to fix this base model in the yellow color and we will apply the radial load of 600 Newton on this router. So let me show you the assembly. So the yoke or the base model in the yellow color is made with the sheet metal. So let me show you that we have used the sheet metal command for this base. You can see that it can be flattened too. So this is the router made with the solid shapes like boss extrude and simple chamfer and pattern command. So we have used a split line command like this to make these faces. So this is our short face and this one is our housing face. We will apply bearing connectors to these faces. First of all, simply go to SolidWorks settings, select SolidWorks simulation from here, go to simulation tab, select new study from here and select OK. So first of all, you can see that there are two parts. One is router and second one is yoke. So the yoke is made of sheet metal. Therefore, it is showing this sign. So we have to use it or treat it, it as solid. So we will select treat as solid from here. If we will not select treat as solid, it will be treat as sheet metal. So we have selected it as a solid and we have applied the material of AIS SI1020 steel. So now we will simply go to the connections and select bearing from here. So first of all, we are going to apply the bearing to this left shaft and housing. So basically this uh, cylindrical face or circular edge is for the shaft. So select the shaft face from here and this one is for housing. So we will select this face. So the more options are allow self alignment. So we are going to apply the self alignment from here. And these are the two options for total lateral and total axial commands. So we are going to enable stabilized shaft rotation for this left side bearing. I will show you why we are going to uh, enable stabilized shaft rotation and allow self alignment. So select OK from here. And now we are going to use the bearing for the right side. Again, simply select this shaft and select the housing from here. So for that, we are not going to use the stabilized shaft rotation. So why we have made the different bearings? So we have made the different bearing because we need to eliminate the rotation of the shaft about the z-axis. This would result in a rigid body motion. Both bearings are modeled as rigid, allow self alignment is selected, meaning that the deflecting shaft can rotate about the center of the imaginary bearing. So allow self alignment will make it aligned with the imaginary bearing center. So now simply go to the fixture command, select fixed geometry from here, select this base and select OK. Now we will simply apply the radial load of 600 Newton. For that simply go to the force on external load and select this face. Give it the value of 600 Newton from here and select OK. Simply now go to the mesh and create mesh from here. If you want to use the refine mesh, just simply drag this bar to fine mesh from here. Select OK. If you want to make the custom mesh, so for custom mesh, you have to apply the mesh control. So let's see the details of the mesh. So by going in the details, you can see the total nodes, total elements 
and expect percentage of element with expect ratio from here. So uh, the number of elements with expect ratio less than three are 99.6 percent. So this one is this is good for us. Now simply go to the run this study. So now you can see that our results have been calculated and we have found the um, stress displacement and strain. So now you can see that the maximum displacement here is at the center or maximum dis uh, deformation. So when I am going to animate it, you can see that it is not penetrating or touching with these. Uh, housing and it is showing the bearing connectors here like this. So like this from here you can easily found the uh, radial load or stresses using the bearing connectors without making the solid bearings. Select OK from here if you want to see the factor of safety just simply go to define the factor of safety plot from here and select the maximum 1 mic stress go to forward and select yield strength from here and from here you can see that it has automatically generated the material involved. So select next from here if you want to change the unit to mega Pascal select mega Pascal from here select next and if you want to see the factor of safety distribution you can select this and if you want to see the areas below factor of safety one you can select this. So I am going to select the factor of safety distribution select ok from here. So this is the factor of safety distribution. So from here you can see that the maximum factor of safety is 3.3 in the red color. So this was simple tutorial on bearing connectors. Stay tuned and thank you for watching. Keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for the more interesting videos.